Hey there, English speakers. Jesse here. And I have a fun worksheet here with an exercise that will help you improve your English speaking and even writing. This will help you in giving advice to people in English. Knowing how to give advice to people will help you in a variety of different English exams as well as improve your fluency. You can find the exercise in the worksheet on languagegalaxy.net. Follow the link below and you'll be able to download this worksheet and write on it and be able to do it to the best of your ability along with me. So go there, download the worksheet, print it out if you'd like, and let's get started. I'm going to give you a situation. I'm going to give you some phrases that will help you, and then I'll tell you the task that you're going to need to do. First, the situation. I'm taking my Spanish B2 level exam this coming summer. Since you're an experienced language learner, I'd like you to give me some advice in my study and preparation for this exam. The B2 level is about an intermediate or upper intermediate level. Don't really worry about that. And I said Spanish because that's the language I'm learning. If it will help you, you can change Spanish and put your language in on the paper. But before we do the task, I have some examples of advice language, expressions and forms that you can use and you can learn and memorize and use when you speak English. So the first one I put, I'd start writing a diary if I were you. The form of this, I'd start and then we use the gerund, the ing form of the verb. I'd start speaking the language, if I were you. I'd start writing a diary. I'd start studying every day. I'd start ing. Another way to say that, but reversed, if I were you, I'd simple verb. I'm going to use writing a diary to keep consistent through all these examples. If I were you, I'd write a diary. Also, you could use the verb start the same as I did at the top. If I were you, I'd start, that's your base verb, writing a diary. The ing form comes after start. Next, you should base verb write a diary again you could say you should start writing a diary next if you base verb if you write a diary you'll learn faster if you watch Spanish television you'll learn vocabulary if you study on the internet, you'll improve your language. Next, the best way to learn a language is to write a diary, for example. Another way to use the best, the best thing you can do to learn Spanish, Chinese, Russian, Korean, whatever language you want. The best thing you can do to learn Spanish is you need a two infinitive verb after that. The best thing you can do to learn Spanish is to write a diary every day. And the final form that I have for you, I recommend that you base verb. I recommend that you write a diary or I recommend that you start writing a diary. These are some basic forms of giving advice and basic expressions that you can use. Now, in your English study, I'm sure you've learned other ways to give advice. You can use these blank spaces to write that there. 
right? Any kinds of other ways that you would use to recommend something to somebody. Like, for example, I suggest that you blah, blah, blah. You could blah, blah, blah. Get creative in this. This is your assignment. This is your advice that you're giving to me. Let's move on to the task. Write advice to help me prepare for my upcoming exam. Give me positive and negative advice. You see two circles here. One is for positive advice, things that I should do. In the second circle, it's advice of what not to do, things to avoid doing. For example, I wouldn't speak English in your Spanish course if I were you. Notice I took the first form of advice, I'd start writing a diary, I'd speak Spanish in your, as much as possible, and I made it negative. Instead of I would, I wouldn't speak English in your Spanish course if I were you. That's what I mean by negative advice. Tell me things to not do. I want to learn from your successes and I want to learn from your mistakes. So do this worksheet and you can write advice in the comment sections below and I can give you feedback. You can also go to languagegalaxy.net where you download this worksheet and there's a comment section below. You can write your advice there and I'll give you feedback for that too. We're going to learn language together. If you have any questions, let me know on Twitter or Facebook. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.